cage one time, baby. The audio synced up. Beautiful, beautiful. Got to change my category. Um, Zigbar trivia will probably be a week from today. I think that'll be what we'll come down on because uh, we'll be skipping the weekend. Kahoot. We won't we'll be skipping it. We'll be pushing it forward. Let me change the cat. There we go. And yeah, now we're just gonna chill and play KH1, and that's really rad, because it's my favorite. Oh, I am the pot centipede! I am the hardest boss in the game! That's right. That's also my Parasite Cage voice and my David Russell voice. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you got what you wanted, buffoon. You're the true buffoon, you know that? I should have known. Of course, a buffoon wrote this question, you know? God damn it. All opinions are valid. What? What? What is that? Only toxic behavior here in this stream. Um, <laughs> one of the Zigbar questions, should you really have betrayed them? Probably not. In the movie, the Pot Centipede should still be voiced by Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah. Gotta wait for uh, the KH movie, which I'm sure is also in development, just right alongside that Disney Plus show. Yeah, all opinions are valid except for the wrong ones. Thank you, Whisper. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> all right. I guess we're going to Monstro. I guess that's what's next. We can visit some places and unseal unseal Trinities. All right, I guess we can do that too. We have the green Trinity. All right, well, we'll do that. We got a torn page. Yo, you want to go fuck it up with Pooh in the wood? Because we can do that too. Um, I'm gonna grab all those green Trinities, I guess. <clears throat> they will learn of our peaceful ways by force. That's right. <laughs> oh, Marge, I think all opinions are equally valid. Oh. Um, god. Fucking centrist Homer Genie. Yeah, all opinions are valid as long as they're got Baka's hot takes. God, it's been a minute since I've, uh, played Cage 1, so... Gotta, like, get used to the controls again, crazily enough. Um, there's that bastard green Trinity, the worst Trinity in the game. And you know what? The worst part of it all, it's not even how it's hidden, it's that here's what you fucking get. You get, okay, Mithril Shard and then all these HP balls. And it's like, there's a save point. One room away. Mithril Shard, like, it's nice, but you can get those from regular enemies, you know? Um, <laughs> all opinions are wrong, except my That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, yeah, what cursed death can I be granted? Like, Parasite Cage 1? I don't know if I've ever died to Parasite Cage 1. That's probably not true. I probably have as a kid. Um, so. Um, it's for Clay if Clayton jumps out of the tree top, yeah. That, uh, random Clayton encounter. Gotta be careful. Oh, please. Please, Cosmic Stuff. <laughs> I gotta see uh, Homer Genie the Centrist. You know what else I need to do? I think I need to turn my fan on. It's been uh, warming up here in good old PA. Um, so, it was like 80 yesterday. That was crazy. Um, I keep trying to like, you know, because I, I was playing a PS1 game recently, and um, I was, uh, like several PS1 games actually, and most of them you control the camera with L1 and R1, and I'm like trying to do that right now. And it's not working out for me. So I gotta get reacclimated to the 21st century here, you know? It was Ape Escape, that's what it was. I was playing the original Ape Escape. Um, which uh, makes use of the dual shock for movement. Um, and the shoulder buttons for camera. Just wacky. Um, yeah, I mean, you can go to Florida where it's always nice and 80, but it's also always Florida. So that's the problem there, heals. Um, it was a good argument until you got to the Florida part. <laughs> oh, homie, you should consider the idea of no choice as making a choice. But merge, both sides are equally valid under the First Amendment. Merge. Oh, fucking Homer Genie. Yo, by the way, it's Allie's birthday. I know I mentioned it earlier, but I don't know if she was here yet. So everyone say happy birthday to Allie fans. Um, yeah, Marge is Gurgi. <laughs> homie. Um, can we perhaps maybe pop into your favorite world, Atlantica? Yeah, sure. Um, we'll definitely be getting there this stream. I'm surprised that it's your favorite world, but it's also your birthday, so no more, no, no more judgment from me. Um, I gotta get to this green trinity here. But yeah, we'll be going through Monstro, and then, uh, we can stop by Atlantica. Oh, show. Um, if you're going to 100% the gummy stuff, I suggest going to Halloween Town before Atlantica. Oh, right, for the, uh, the routes. Yeah, you're right. Well, yeah, I can just drive there and then uh, not actually do the world. So I'll do that and then I'll actually drive to Atlantica. And Halloween Town is on the bottom, right? It'll have more stars, that's how I'll know. 
Um, let's do this. All right, I gotta turn my fan on. BRB. I have legs, by the way. What? My fan's not plugged in? Uh. Oh. There we go. Uh. All right. <clears throat> legs? Legs confirmed? Oh my god. I'm sorry to show off my legs, you know, it's very unbecoming of a streamer. Get horizontal? I got cake? Cake? Cake. <laughs> Here we go! Woo! Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. And then Egg said posture check, so... Alright. I'll just turn my fan on, it's alright. <laughs> you about to get some subs for, for showing off, yeah. I know, I know. Oh, there's a chest. Don't just do the Trinity and leave the chest. Um, oh man, I missed the unsettling position. Um, <laughs> torso hair and a singular foot. Yeah, I keep the I keep the foot in my my satchel. You know, I just carry it around with me. Yeah, we're at Thirst Trap stream. I was gonna do a hot tub stream at some point, but I don't know if the interest is still there. Fully clothed, obviously. And I would just be like probably running a kahoot from the hot tub. Might as well save. And don't delete this file again, idiot. <coughs> Redeem points for me to do squats? I don't think so. I'm not trying to die. You know? <laughs> that VTuber reveal? That's when, like, things start going downhill, you know? That's when I, like, really need to, uh... You know, get the numbers back up. Or, maybe that just drives them back down, you know? It depends on what the audience is looking like. Which cake is best? Yo! Uh, one sec. One-winged honeybee. Thank you for the, uh, gift sub there. Um, for Mad Attack, um, and welcome to the stream. I don't believe I've seen you around. If I have, it must have been brief. Um, but yeah, thank you for that gift sub. And then, okay, what cake is best? Cake, fruit cake, cheesecake, ice cream cake, etc. Okay, well, let me see. Well, no one's gonna vote for fruit cake. Um, best cake. Cake, <laughs> fruit cake, cheesecake, ice cream cake. Is there another type of cake we can come up with? Um, hmm. I mean, chocolate cake, I think, just falls under, uh, you know, the category of cake. Coffee cake? Red velvet? Booty cake? Alright, booty cake. <laughs> Vote now. I can't say booty? Oh, content does not meet guidelines. I can't say booty. Fine. Booty with two zeros. And, oh, but they fucking called me out on that? <laughs> I can't say booty with two zeros? Okay, I'll just say you know, winky face. I can't believe that. <laughs> well, everyone's gonna vote for. <laughs> oh man. Well, some people are voting for cheesecake. <laughs> Twitch said bonk. Come on. Yeah, you're right. I spelled fruit cake wrong. Fruit cake. Fruit cake. Fruit cake. <laughs> and man attack just got gifted a sub, and then gifted one, two. Let's see. Level story, level story. Danielle was the uh, one of the organizers for March Caprice. She's real cool. Thank you so much, Mad Attack. Appreciate that. Cheesecake is a pie. Hmm. I guess it's not not. Uh, Blue Juice Sparrow. Thank you for gifting a sub to <laughs> for Booty for uh, Jules Knight. Thank you for the fifteen total. Thanks so much, Blue Juice. Um, spreading that love. Appreciate that. Getting hype. It's getting a little hype in here. Uh oh. Um. Let me uh, do the screen shinner day. Oh, I have Blizzara now, so I could uh, put out these torches. That's important for 100%. It's not missable, though. I say this every time I, I come here on stream, but uh, um, there was like this misconception that you could miss this this Olympus prize. Oh, I have a Three Wishes as well. Um, if you do Blazaga before doing it with the Blazara, but this it'll always uh, be here for you to get. Deep Freeze. I believe it's like a, might be a gummy or an accessory or something. I'm gonna run out of MP actually. They freeze. And you straight up can't do it with Blizzard. It, uh, it won't let you. According to the Cage Character Files book, Aqua's hobby is baking. What? <laughs> Who like who's coming up with this? This paratextual lore. Free circulates. Okay, I will if I have enough left. Um, the character files just like making stuff up. 
There's a chest. Yeah, I'll freeze Hercules. Fuck you. There you go. <laughs> Legit pineapple upside down cake is the best cake, hands down. Hands upside down, rather. There you go, holy gummy. You're awful, Aqua. <laughs> yeah, when when Ven tastes uh, Aqua's burnt cookies. You're awful, Aqua, at baking. <laughs> Yo, guys, guys. Thank you so much for sending me all this swag, dude. I was just showing it off earlier. And you know what? Especially the whole, I mean, the, the cherry on top was all these nice words. I really appreciate that. And unfortunately, the little leaf fell off in transit, so I'm going to have to glue it back on. But it at least didn't get lost, so I, I still have the leaf on top for the pow poo. But uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. I got a mask. I got a little pin. It's like I was really there. <laughs> so thank you. Yeah. Oh, well, you know. It happens. Nothing uh, nothing a hot glue gun can't fix. <clears throat> Alright, now we're going to... We can uh, unlock the accessory shop with the Green Trinity. Can we shout out um, KH guides here? Did it work? There we go. Legends Arceus. I've been falling way behind. I uh, haven't gotten to play in about a week. Miss it. Um, accessory shop, that's right. <clears throat> yeah, you're welcome. No problem. And KD Baller, thank you for the follow. Let's get accessorizing. I wonder if there's anything we can actually synthesize already. Um, did we actually... We do the fill cup, does anyone remember? I know it's been like a month that we've been... About like two months we've been going through KH1. But um, I don't remember if we did the fill cup. Got some puppies... Also, uh, no, the stream has not crashed. Um, not yet. But I'm also, I also, uh, I tried not having the preview up, Frosty, and it's just, like, not good for my brain. Like, I'm, like, <laughs> panicked that, because I, I really need to see in real time what's happening. Everything else is a delay, and I just need to see it, or else, like, I get, like, paranoid. Um, but the stream has not crashed yet, so I'm, all, I'm not recording. Um, do I have gravity? Yes, so we have done it. Thank you. Great way to check. Um, but yeah. No crashes. Um, I got the postcard. Um, yeah, let's see if we can synthesize anything. Oh, I'm sorry. We got to listen to his explanation of two text bubbles. Three, sorry. He, he can't possibly make stuff for you until you listen to that other Moogle talk about things. Okay, Tottage. Well, part of 100% will be doing all this, but at least we're not on level one, so... Um, I mean, I do have $2,000, <laughs> yeah, but... I mean, I'm, I'm worried about... Uh, I fucking just got this computer, though. Like, uh, <laughs> I have two thousand dollars. I, I could definitely afford it, but um, I, I, just, I got this computer a year a year ago, like a year and two months, I think. Um, Shiverburn, thank you for the hundred bits. I think I believe we have a kahoot from Shiverburn coming up, um, probably in late April, early May. And then uh, Frosty gift is sub to Cage guys. Thank you so much, Frosty, for three hundred and thirty-seven total. Yeah, I, I did uh, update OBS at least. Um, who am I supposed to kiss, Egadon? <laughs> Did you uh, clarify that? AP up. Okay, last postcard will be in uh, Pinocchio, Geppetto's house. Um, anything else that I want to do while I'm here? Um, see, the thing is, I, I take breaks from this file. I forget what little things I've already accomplished. I guess I could go see if the uh, puppies have any goodies for me. Um, Mojo. Yo, Mojo West skipped five gift subs. Let me see. Jeez, uh, thank you, dude. 61 total. Blasi 12. Penguin McGee. Rap Bleach, Hanakagi 13, and JXBXP, and Ramsam for the ninth gift sub, one for Nautical Walk. Thank you, Ramsam. Guys, level 2 hype train. Thank you so much. I re really appreciate that. And you know what? I was just looking at some of these comments here. And <laughs> Gorin is here. <laughs> is Gorin really here? Uh, where is he? Are you, are you getting, my, getting my hopes up here for Gorin? Um, there's so many nice things in here, you know? Um... It'd be kind of, uh, you know, pat myself on the back to, like, go through, but it's just so nice. Um, people, like, really, like, wrote out their thoughts, and uh, nobody was even, like, rude or snarky to me. Maybe maybe guides took those out, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you'd assume that when someone's nominating me, they wouldn't be rude or snarky, but, you know, people are creative. They, they sneak those things in. Um, it's just, like, three pages of just, like, fucking really nice, really nice words, and it just... Uh, Reminds you what it's all about. And it uh, makes me want to just keep going, you know? Um, 
Uh, Owls, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Kiwi! <laughs> Kiwi donated 333 uh, on, uh, was it last week? Uh, during Dream Drop when I was talking to Keynote. And uh, I totally missed it. <laughs> and then when I when I saw him in person a couple days ago, he was like, Oh, by the way, you didn't thank me for the 333, you dick. Uh, I was like, I really honestly didn't notice in the moment. But also, Owls for the 100 bits and Cosmic Stuff for the 100 bits. Thank you. And thank you, Kiwi, for the 333. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, oh, and Vaka's one year on the channel? Oh yeah, because uh, it was the bracket, uh, it was me and Kiwi on the bracket uh, follow-up video, wasn't it? And that was uh, got Vaka's first stream. Um, I can find the, what was the actual date on that? Sorry, people that don't care about any of this, but it's my stream. <laughs> so, um, bracket, cage one, reading your comments, that should work if I type that in YouTube, right? I don't know, no, cage one doesn't make sense to type, but it worked. Um, that was on, oh, yeah, so it was, we're actually just over it, Gavaka. A couple days over it, because that was on the 11th of last year, April 11th. Look at that! And, uh, Frosty gifted a sub to, uh, Lazy Gamer Boy Q for 338. Thank you so much. Hunter, <laughs> D65, thank you for gifting your ninth total to Koi the Lovely. Yeah, um, April 11th was the, uh, the bracket follow-up, um, FF7R finale. Yeah, that was probably right around now, too, right, Dog? Um, guys, thank you so much. Just, we're just, you know, loafing around in Traverse Town. I'm getting a little litty. Um, Tristan, you have a great Easter. Thank you for stopping in. See you when I see ya. After all, we're friends. Got it memorized. <laughs> Let me see, what was the, uh, if I type regular Pat Final Fantasy VII finale? That should work. Um, that was, the VOD was April 13th. Yeah, look at that. All sorts of anniversaries. It's almost like you enjoy Cage one instead of Dream Trump. I mean, uh, you know. Uh, Gorilla, thank you for the 100 bits there as well. God, look at all these bits. Um, wow, so nice. And listen, you know, Dream Drop, I, uh, keynote, you know, he's given me a couple of, uh, some pointers, you know, to feel a bit more confident in my, my journey forward. But it's like, I gotta deal with Comantis and Rinsler next week, so... Can you do the double bubble, trouble, banana split, purple, nurple exploit? Yeah, show me how. Tell me what to do. I'll do it. I'll do it with bells on. <laughs> what? Pat hates DDD? Is the sky fucking blue? Apparently. Yeah, apparently it is. Um, what was I doing? I was going to go see the puppies. Uh, One-winged honeybee. Thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate that. Gotta, gotta say, I'm glad that my minimum bits isn't 13 anymore. <laughs> it used to be minimum... Oh, no. Spooky monkey. Uh, minimum bits used to be 13. <laughs> and I feel like that's just what people would default to, so I'm not gonna complain about the uh, the full hundred. Kiwi says DDD's stinky, so it must be true. Uh, I mean, I agree. Also, Ars Arcanum, Ars Arcanum. See, Bio said Ars Arcanum in the Family I Feud, and now I, I feel like that's how I'm supposed to say it. But I, I grew up saying Ars Arcanum. Why don't we do a poll here? Also, Whispers of Jiraiya was gifted a sub from Frosty. Um, 339 total from Frosty. Thank you so much. And thank you for the follow, Whispers. Appreciate that. Yep, you got ADDD now. As you know, I'm, I'm very I'm very strict with these things. If I don't like it, you have to not like it. Um, you think DDD is the second best? Oh my god. I mean, I can't put any of the side games above the uh, the main three. But Frosty is an icon. In fact, have we even hit the uh, All Yours Frosty yet? All Yours, Frosty. Um, I don't hate DDD. It's, I hate DDD in the same way that I hate to, except I mean it a lot more with the Dream Drop. But it's, you know, it's not in my top 50 games of all time. It's probably in my top 100. Um, and Romsom, thank you for gifting the sub to Smelly Isopod there. Smelly Isopod, I remember being in the original KH1 level 1 stream. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> you see that? What is that noise? Oh, it's <laughs> It's Donald splashing. Do you hear the faint... The, the the faint splish splash of Donald and the I'm having fun I'm swimming look at me go I you you're, you're not watching sorry I watch me swim all right wait stay away from the monkey <laughs> yeah it's crazy I'm in combat but she hasn't spotted me I forgot that they can roam around <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah look at him go <laughs> yeah what's up Blazy um but yeah I remember Smelly Isopod and, and I was in Wonderland it's one of those names that sticks out to me in the time I was playing um. I have not had that weird, like, the, the one that sounds like a jet engine. <laughs> now I'm all out. Where does he say that? In, uh... Where does he say that? He says that in, like, Cage 3 somewhere, I think. Oh, it's the the Splash Run uh, summon. 
um, Lego Star Wars. I don't own Lego Star Wars. What platform is it on? Um, but uh, yeah, the DDD boss rush. Oh, for sure. Two streams and a half. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> but uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I know the jet engine noise. I think the last time I heard it, it was uh, KH1. Um, was I speed running? I think it might have been my birthday speed run. Um, it was in Hollow Bastion on the Greats. Um, listen, I'm not uh, I'm not opposed to playing uh, Lego Star Wars on stream. Um, and people have been saying, is it new? I feel like people I've been hearing uh, people talking about it recently. Um, get my, uh, my dash back up over here. <coughs> Where's Michael Mouse? Me playing Star Wars. Yeah, I'll be looking for him. I want him to fight Yoda. All right, let's try to kill this monkey. <laughs> um, I don't have stop yet. Or Mushu. Those are like the best ways to deal with this. You really don't even want to bother with these guys until uh, you have better tools. Because you can't get anything good until you are able to uh, beat three of them at um, the third wave. Guys, look at that hype train. 14 gift subs and 518 bits. Thank you so much, folks. Um, what? That's not true. Did you Wait, did you really give me money specifically for Fatal Frame, Frosty? Um... If you did, then I will. I will. Uh, I will totally play it. But I didn't know if you were. I didn't know of any donations I've ever gotten. You gave me twenty specifically for Fatal Frame. Then I will do it. <laughs> if it. Listen, I honest to God forgot. But if somebody was giving me money to play something, I will totally do it. Maybe I'll do it as like our little uh, our little makeup stream. Um, what's the best easiest way to get it, Frosty? Also, Kiwi is <laughs> Kiwi. What do you want? <laughs> What do you want, Kiwi? Tell me what you want first. Um, PS3? Can I get it off the PS3 store? Is that even a thing still? Um, look, it's Lego Ericus. <laughs> you want attention? <laughs> Alright, I'll let you on for a little. <laughs> Come on. Kiwi! Oh, Patty! Hey. <laughs> What's going on, dude? <laughs> I uh, The worst thing that could have ever happened to you was <laughs> is you me regularly getting... being on the stream <laughs> yes uh getting normal hours uh for a job yeah we was... had a job change recently yeah so now that i'm like a regular person <laughs> yeah ahead, that just ruined you people uh the people seem to be enjoying no they love today, Kiwi. So... they love <laughs> because it's you're not you're not in charge of a kahoot you know if you if you didn't seem like so not interested whenever I like propose something like this, I probably wouldn't do this to you. It's always but, fun. Uh, okay. It's fun. You can continue to play your game. I I want to commentate oh, on what's happening in the dude. game. Dude, okay, Ramsam made me a bracket of KH quotes, and uh, we could totally do that right now as like a celebration of uh, one oh, okay. year since the since the bracket. You want to do oh, that? Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Allie, yeah. I apologize that we don't get to Atlantic now today because now we have, we've got a lot of stuff going on. But uh, I think that'd be really good. If we have Kiwi, it's been a year since the bracket. Um, which, by the way, I mean, let's do another. Let's do another real one. Not to say that Romsoms isn't real, but, uh, you know, like one with uh, <laughs> a with seeds. Edits. Yeah, with one with seeds. One with, yeah, exactly. Um, Romsoms sent that to me on Discord. Let me see here. Since Ram -Som. I don't com <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Since I don't computer, I'm gonna need help to know how I could see this. Yeah, no, I will um I'll I'll stream it on Twitch. Yeah, that'll be the, okay, the idea. Good. Good. Ramsam, can I edit this at all? Or do you say I can't edit it? Um Let me see. Oh just don't share the link. Okay, I gotcha. So I can't edit it. Alright, let me get that running up here on my end. Let's see. I am now Okay, perfect. Let me switch my sources. This is exciting. I'm happy about that. That was that was some good stuff for sure. Um, let me get KH1 going here again. Should be all lined up sound wise. Got to switch my uh, category again. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. There we go. Oh yes, the Clayton impression. I was uh, I was given a Clay oh, as well as a Zemnis impression. Okay, Conductor Butters an hour ago said Zemnis's version of Sad Faces. But if you're going to join, I'm spitting on my face. But if you're going to join the organization, you can't come along looking like that. Understand? No frowning, no sad face. Okay. And then Zigbar would say, "Yeah, you gotta look funny like us." 
And then uh, I guess Roxas would go. Uh, what, would, what does Sora say in that scene? What does Sora say before he does the big cheese smile? Kiwi? <laughs> uh, well, wait a second. Wait, where are we in the. We're line? in. Uh, what does Ziggy say? What does, what does uh, Ziggy well, say? Well, Goofy would be saying, you gotta look funny like us. Oh, no. And then Zenmus would say, this organization runs on happy faces. Right. And then Roxas would say, happy. And then he would do happy. the big. Happy. He's a little whispery boy. And then he would do big cheese. All right. And then I had an impression from Barnabas. Um, Clayton announces that he's decided to re-embrace his suppressed identity as a gorilla. <laughs> Tarzan, Miss Porter, I am here today with a PowerPoint presentation to announce that I've decided to return to the jungle and live among the gorillas as an alpha. They have accepted me. They love me for who I am, my mustache, my shotgun, and my various funny quips. Hoo hee hoo hee. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. That was, uh, that was an adventure. Yeah, it was all improv, Kiwi. What do you want from me? All right. Wow. And uh, Wacky Lattice, thank you for the follow there. And Blue Juice says, get horizontal. Will do. Um, all right. We've got to at least make it to Monstro. You know what? I told Allie we'd go to Atlantica, and it's her birthday. So it's like, I got to at least aim for Atlantica, too. Where's the other sniper wild? I lost eyes on the target. I need visual. Kiwi, feel free to butt in, by the way. I mean, I know it's it's a different format now, but, you know. Oh, I will, I will not hesitate to <laughs> right. butt in. Alright. Oh! We'll just break out in a song, it's fine. Cake! Cake. Um, Cake. Yeah, Kiwi can oh give us the God. color commentary of how I'm doing. That's actually what I do. I am a I am a better color commentary guy than a play by play, so this is good. Yeah, that's fair. I'm a, a natural color commentator, so. Oh no, they got me. Hey. She caught me. Um, I might die. Question mark. Get into the puppy house, please. Okay, we're good. See, the thing is, you're on a delay, so you can't exactly see uh, what's happening for the play by play or the color commentary. You want some sage advice? Sure. No okay. more sniper wilds. Yeah, I agree. I think we're done with that for the stream. <laughs> yes. Because if we've got to get to Atlantica, we don't have time to no. uh, to mess around with some uh, with some I agree. chimps. So I agree. We're gonna we're gonna speed run Monstro at least get to Atlantica, so we can uh, fulfill our promises to everybody. All right, we got the Cake. Kiraga gummy. Cake. We got the Faraga gummy. All right. Um. So yeah, let's uh, let's fuck on off to. Uh, you know, we won't do Pegasus Cup, we won't do the 100 Acre Wood today, but we'll get to Monstro in Atlantica. Because Monstro is like a, what is that, like a 20 minute world, really? If you, uh, we'll watch the cutscenes, yeah. but without the cutscenes, it's like, if you know where you're going, that shit's easy. And then we'll, uh, we'll come back and get, uh, get the, uh, treasures later on, you know? Um, you're a Monstro believer, like I am, aren't you, Kiwi? I'm uh I'm less enthusiastic, but I am on the train though. Okay. You actually have uh, done some work to convince me that the monstro is above Hell yeah. uh, the lower level of the the cage one. World. Yeah, because some people I, mean, I still think it's lower half of me the cage one worlds, but I agree. Um, oh, thank you, McMaster, and yeah, I'll, I will make sure to go to Halloween Town first there. Um, yeah, I uh, I think people who have monstro as like you know, bottom three are, like, really sleeping on some of the story elements there. And, like, yeah. the, uh, how they contextual, like, just how Monstro fits into the, like, context of how Cage 1 is set up with it being, like, an apocalypse scenario. Um, it's, like, unmatched, if you ask me, in terms of Cage 1, at least. Like, there's the Dalmatians being scattered and how they, like, they contextualize that as, like, a like, a collectathon sort of thing. But, like, right. Monstro, you know, being this entity swimming about Kingdom Hearts Gummy Space... And like it's just like a, a symbol of the the chaos of you know the the current uh, heartless apocalypse. You know it's uh, it is it is very apocalyptic. Yes, it's, it's really true. Strong. It's uh, yeah. I mean, I think beyond that context, though, that critical context, it's uh, you know a pretty interesting world uh, visually. You know, like. Mm. It's almost like so repetitive that it's actually more interesting for being so, you know. Yeah. The, the maze of it all. I mean, 
Like, well, truly, does the inside of a whale, like, really look distinct enough in, like, each of its different parts that, like, you'd be able to know exactly how you would get to a certain place? Like, that kind of disorientation is better to me than the kind of thing that they do in, uh, in Halloween Town, where they're kind of just making you go back and forth. Sure. Like, the mantra's making you think a little bit more. Uh, and also, that yeah, the mouth is, is one of the best rooms oh. in the series history. The mouth, you know? yeah, best room in the... In the in that world especially but one of the best in the game i would say um the uh I, I will agree with some of that like i think halloween town like the progression of halloween town is really bad in terms of like you know you kind of you're basically inching forward bit by bit into the world which you know starts at guillotine square ends at the top of boogie's manor um like i think the design is more memorable and distinct like obviously monstro is just like yeah. similar looking chambers but the thing about monstro is that like, it's meant to be labyrinthian. Like, people are like, oh my god, it's so confusing. Like, guess what? That's the point of that one. Whereas, like, right. Wonderland or the Neverland, Captain Hook's ship, um, they're like, they can, in Atlantica, they confuse people, and it's not supposed to be confusing. Whereas, Monstro is supposed to be confusing, you know? Uh, disagree on Wonderland, but the other two, yes. Well, like... Wonderland, I think, is also supposed to be confusing. Oh, yeah, you're right. I think, And I've said that in a video, actually. Wonderland is, you know, because it's... It's supposed to be zany and like disorienting. So, um, Wonderland has the context. The thing, the thing about Monster though is that like, why is it confusing? Like, I don't know, but the game knows that it is. Like, right. Wonderland um, should always be confusing. As a, I just lost sound completely. Wait, All right, we're good now. Um, Wonderland should always be confusing, no matter how it's depicted in a video game, because like that's the nature of that world. Um, right. And the game knows that. Whereas Monstro does not need to be confusing, but um, the game knows that it is and labels it as such with like the chamber names and everything. So right, yeah. Well, I don't know how else <coughs> you kind of present Monstro as it is. Like again, the innards of a whale, like without it kind of being the way it is, like without it being gross, you know? Yeah, it has to be. Like how do <laughs> yeah. you portray it, like other than the way that it is, like? Are, are the intestines of a whale, like, distinct enough? Like, the small intestine from the large intestine <laughs> right. enough to be, like, able to make an environment out of it? That they're able to make it work at all is an achievement in its own. It's, yeah. it's worthy of praise, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, and, you know, we haven't really, you know, we I briefly touched on it, but, like, the story elements, like, it really is, and I say this in the KH1 uh, uh, world ranking, um, like, Monstro is... We're opening up with a flashback right now. Like, it is a Kingdom Hearts world with a Disney coat of paint on it. It's really not yeah. that concerned. It's not like a self-concerned Disney world, like, you know, basically everything in Cage 2 besides Space Paranoids and maybe Beast Castle. It's, like, wholly about the conflict and the tension between Sora and Riku, and it just happens to be taking place in something from Pinocchio, which right. is great, you know? As Wacky Lattice says, the tie-in with Riku, really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is how most of the KH1 worlds operate, you know, as mm -hmm. very separated from their source material other than the characters, but yeah, other than the characters, like, taking up that space, and obviously <clears> the <throat> environment, you know, the setting is yeah. taking obvious inspiration from, but, I mean, the KH1 worlds do, now that we have, like, the larger context of the whole series, and, and you know, what they've done with some of the other worlds like mm -hmm. we could see that most of them are just uh kingdom hearts worlds with the disney paint on them yeah. yes i mean it, it, i think uh, kh1 are one... really copying a movie <clears throat> plot right no i mean i was gonna say like there are definitely elements like you know um agraba like aladdin trying to get his hands on the lamp and like meet jasmine like but it's you know it's yeah. a very small cross section of that movie um and some kh2 worlds are like that too but, like, it almost seems like they, like, someone higher up told the, like, the developers, like, hey, like, here's the Disney properties, but, like, don't just do the movie. Where it's, it feels like with two and three, and not so much in three, I mean, I'd say for half of the ones in three, as we've, you know, beat to death by now. But, like, in those games, they're like, okay, you can do the movie plots, it's fine. You know, just retell the movie again. Um, right. But they really don't come that close to doing that in one. I mean, I think Agrabah's probably the closest, but, like, you know, Olympus is completely its own thing, doing its own thing. You know, Wonderland pretty much is, um, you know, Deep Jungle. I guess Deep Jungle's kind of close. Um, you know, the late, like, the third act of, uh, of Deep Jungle, kind of. But even then, it's, like, it's it's an echo of it. It's not even, you know, 
it's not even like uh, a copy paste in any way. Right. Well, I mean, it just seems like in Deep Jungle that they're so like in there already, you know, mm -hmm. like Jane and Clayton are. So yeah, everything's like, so established already. Part of it. Already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The David S. Pumpkins part of it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I just. I just think that, like, that is kind of a constant through line. Like, most of the Disney characters, like, know the world that they're in. I think in 2 and 3, they're a little bit more ignorant of, like, the the larger weirdness of what's going on. Like, you could tell there's an apocalypse going on, even if they don't know that there's other worlds. It's like, wow, right. the, the world's really, you know, getting eaten up here, isn't it? Like, this is an interesting threat here, you know? I. I couldn't like think of a, an exact example of what I'm talking about, but it's like, I I guess it's just by comparison, really, because like in mm. KH one there would never be time to, uh, there would never be time to like sing "Let It Go" or something because right. it's like it's the end of the world. We don't <laughs> yeah, have we do not have to... time for a four minute ballad. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, um, I pause because the "It's True" scene is coming up right now, so I just want to experience that. I know you're sure. delayed, so I'll let you know when it's over. <laughs> get it. With this, we can get out of here, Father. Really? With this big block? You think so? It's true. It's true. Look at his stupid little face. <laughs> it's true. Here I am. It's me and the boys. Tell you that it's true. Say the line part. All right, you're good now. <laughs> so, it's good stuff. Appear, Great stuff, even. <sighs> oh, my it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine. True yeah. It's true. Um, stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> Lethal face. That's right. <laughs> oh my god. It's just so good. I love Monstro. I'm sorry. How? Where do I have it as in my boss or my world rankings? Anybody know? It's probably like fifth from the bottom. Or I guess what is that? Yeah, what is that in Kiwi's language? Is that uh, number <laughs> number nine overall maybe? Oh, my language? <laughs> yeah. Order. yeah. 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 Battle thing? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, Cleo is here. Ah, um, uh, Cleo. Okay, Barnabas, Cleo. Barnabas says, okay, but is it actually true? How would they get out of Monstro using that block? Well, we're not being super literal. I mean, I think Sora's referring to the fact that, uh, you know, gummy travel can help you escape this realm. Like, watch, I can do it right now. I don't have to be here. Bye! Like, I just got in the same point and left. So I have to fly to Halloween Town first, and then I'll come back. Um, also, uh, Grim Grinning Cat, thank you for the follow. Nice name. Um, okay, uh, Blue Juice says I had it. I had Monstro Eight because you watched it today. Um, yeah, I mean, just go by like what you have above it, right? Just yeah. like pick oh, all fuck. the ones that you have above. It. I just got destroyed by a gummy ship. Uh, <laughs> I just uh, got knocked out there. Um, Crashed. Soros also says it's true. Oh yeah, he does. Soros says it's true in a similar cadence. Not really, maybe not a similar cadence, but when um, Donald and Goofy are being, uh, or Buzz is suspecting them of being like weirdos, um, they're like arguing and Soros in the background and he goes, it's true. Um, it's not even subtitled, it's like an ad lib or something. It's weird. It's really good though. That is really odd. Um, but yeah, Monstro, if it's number eight, that probably means I had it like below Agraba. It might, maybe, do you think it belongs above Agrabah? Also, I'm going to die again. Would you put it above no, Agrabah? I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. It's but a tough like sell. Monstro, if Monstro was a cage two worlds, it would be, like, probably oh. number six for me. <laughs> I think, I think I might have cage one Monstro above, like, maybe all but space three. Paranoids. Yeah, I would have Space Paranoids above it, and I might have Halloween Town just purely for the, the aesthetics. Well, but, it's so weird because, you know, a lot of the scenario of what happens in KH1 Monstro is not a thing anymore Right. In 2, so. It's so valuable because you get such, like, scraps of it in 2. Um, right. I'll look at Halloween then. Yeah, it's so good. We're going back to we Monstro, love though. That. We love that. Folks, we love that. See a pun slinger. Thank you for snapping in. Let me just say, we love that, folks. Um, all right, well, let's do Monstro for real now. Monstro um, proper. What's a cage two or later line you'd love to hear in Sora's original pre-puberty voice? Um. Ooh. Do you have a, a good one? Question. Yeah. Like a uh, fourteen-year-old HJO saying the line. 
<laughs> oh man, it's really uh, maybe something from like the last scene. You know, the one with the uh, in case three, Big Daddy Zaynor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about that too. Like, um, like what is like a real leader knows? Like, uh, what is it? I always forget that. And accepts yeah, it. It ends with the, and accepts that. <laughs> Something like way above his uh, his like <laughs> intelligence of the situation. <laughs> right, level, right. You know. Yeah. You should probably uh, say, "I swab urethras. I swab <laughs> urethras all day." Nope, yeah. but it's my job. Come on, let's go back. And it's actually really, really important. <laughs> I'm like your job, which can be done <laughs> by, by a Roomba. Roomba, which can be done by a Roomba, brother. <laughs> it slips into the needle. Brother. Brother. I'm gonna watch this much. Nuts. That's nuts. Let me play it. Let me play the nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> oh man, I hate not being able to hear I know, this stuff. I know, it sucks, yeah. <laughs> Cake. Mm. What are you doing here? You know what else <laughs> wasn't on the bracket, but it wasn't not my- Not even entertaining you know cake anymore. Just <laughs> no. like, nope, nope. <laughs> I can't give every single one to you anymore. I apologize. You can't? Um, I can't, no. It's a de delicate economy, Kiwi. Oh, come on. I don't think so. All right, I'll play it. Cake. Cake. Um. Oh no, I don't need you to put it in the chat. Oh, you just need me to acknowledge you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cake. There you go. <laughs> Once again, my my main objective and in, in all of this, yeah. All of this is just attention. Yeah, derailing the the status quo. Yes. Yeah, that's fun. Um, like I want to come in and cause a little chaos. I am Heath Ledger in yeah. the Dark Knight. Yeah, I understand. Me. I understand. Um, so anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? Um. You know what wasn't on the uh, hundred or the hundred? Or no, it wasn't on the bracket, but it was on the hundred quotes video. Was Rico going? Rachel, cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade. I really like that. <laughs> I don't know why, but it wasn't why? my. <laughs> why did you read that as John Travolta? <laughs> did I read it? You have the the Keyblade. Keyblade. I just think I think there's some weird uh, there's some weird sort of stank on the on the Keyblade. <laughs> Too yeah. cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade. Yeah, it's a it's a great world. It's it's got a lot of good lines. It got the puppet line, um, you know. You don't I remember your old friend. Oh, that fucking weird British accent on Ansem Riku. Yeah. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't remember your old friend? Yeah, what? <laughs> You're not Riku. You're not Riku, liar. Yeah, and it's got Cleo. Yeah, it's a great world. I was just messing with them a little. In this scene that you don't get if you do Hollow Bastion first for some reason. Isn't that crazy? Like, God, I know, like, I've beaten to death how charming and smart this game is, but, like, it thought to give you or not give you certain scenes depending on if you don't go to Monstro at a certain point. Like, that's crazy, you know? I mean, it's not crazy, but it's, like, it's nothing that the other games would do. Um, like, I don't even... Like, obviously, KH3 doesn't let you skip any worlds, but, like... It's not even just a, a situation of specifically skipping worlds. It's just like having the the forethought of planning something special for the player if they choose to have a unique experience. It's just so good. Well, um, I mean, they had the opportunity to do something similar with uh, with Pride Lands. Oh, true. Right? Yeah. But the worlds are so just insulated. Yeah. So poorly integrated into the Kingdom Hearts world in Cage Two. <laughs> yeah, there there never, would be like, no opportunity. Nothing changed. You know? Yeah. Nothing changed. Yeah, you could go kill Roxas and then go do Pride Lands, and it wouldn't it wouldn't seem different because why would it? Right. Not kill Roxas, obviously, but you know what I mean. Yes. Um All right, we're gonna fight Parasite Cage. <coughs> but yeah, Cage, you definitely doesn't think to do this. Barnabas says in that game, it's possible to get it's possible to get Sora and Goofy wondering if they'll meet Mickey and Agrabah at a point in the game where they know that Mickey is in Hollow Bastion. Is that true? That's so bad if that's true. Do you know Bye, what? Blue Jew, Sparrow. Bye, Blue Jew. Um, I believe Barnabas. I just I have never heard of that before. And if that's true, that's so bad. Um, did you catch that when I was explaining that, Kiwi? <clears throat> uh, yeah, that is really weird, like, isn't it? Yeah, maybe Mickey took a vacation in Agrabah. <laughs> he just like left all of Bastion to go chill out in Agrabah. God. That's yeah, see, it's a dumb game, you know? Yeah, but okay, Buffoon says you can do Thousand Heartless before Agrabah. Yeah, that's terrible. I wonder if King Mickey will be what here. And Go <laughs> Sora's like, Goofy, no we just saw him! Let's do it. What's wrong with you? That rock. It was the rock, you know? Do you know if you tap left or right on the D-pad when you're on your attack thing, it just makes the noise and it doesn't do anything? 
really? Yeah, I'm 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 uh, hovering on attack right now, and it's making yeah. the the blonk blonk noise. Oh wow, that's weird. Huh. Oh. Put it in a video. Well, if you do it, I think I knew this, but if you're on summon and you pre you press left on the D-pad, it'll take you up to attack. It's like a quick thing. That's oh. actually really useful. Huh. Like if you're on items or summon, you want to get to attack quick, you just tap left instead of like scrolling all the way up. Neat. Oh uh, yeah. Anyway. I probably um, accidentally saw that. Yeah, it's something you'll, you'd probably realize and then forget. Right. <laughs> yeah, Pinocchio's like, help me! And Sora's like, wow, that's a neat noise! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I'm preoccupied, I got I got shit to do. Sorry, I'm scrolling through my menu here. Yeah, I got facts to chronicle. What also, menu? how about Riku just uh, putting in work? Yeah. He does do damage, I believe. Or is that... I thought I realized that he either does or doesn't do damage. No, he does, he just did a hit, yeah. So Riku can damage the Parasite Cage, um, and he can't die, obviously, because he has an infinite supply of potions that he'll never use on you, only on himself. Which would imply that Riku has, like, an invisible health bar, do you think? Or is it just totally for show? Uh, no, he doesn't have an invisible health bar. But he's he going to use a potion right now. Like, why? Is it just at a, a timer? Oh, like, yeah, just for show. Just yeah. for show. I'd really be curious to look at, like, the, the code on that, or if anybody knows, like... Is, Riku, is it like Riku takes a certain amount of hits or attacks and then he uses a potion, or is it like he's coded to use a potion every certain number of, of actions that he performs? Um, Here's the question. Yeah. Does Riku <coughs> only do... See, yeah, I mean, it does mean nothing. He didn't take any attacks in between those two potions, so... Oh, yeah, okay. It's, yeah. Uh, the question is, does, uh, does Riku only do his his kick move against the parasite cage after getting he hit three times just like oh my god the island i think it might be every time he gets hit unless he's I in the air do it. yeah right okay let's let's pay attention because he got hit in the air that second time there and he didn't do it okay but uh let's yeah, didn't it. do it that time yeah so that was one <laughs> yeah let's see well now i need the parasite cage to actually hit him Run over, Riku. Get that ass. That would be uh, amazing if it's coded to uh, to do that on every three two. hits. Taking Riku to the lab. Come on. Come on. Hit him, Cage. Uh, I missed him. Here comes three. Aw, oh, you bitch. <laughs> Goofy got in the way. Three. Oh, no way. Riku, get in there, bro. That doesn't count. Okay. Come on. Slap he did him it. Up. He did the kick. But I don't know if that was on three, was it? Yeah, it was! Alright, let oh me <laughs> let me see the next time that he gets hit if he does it again. Because I know he just did the kick, so I want to see if he gets hit again and he does it. Come on, Riku! Riku, get in there! Riku. I'm sorry, folks. We, we gotta see this. This is important for science. Do it, do it! God <laughs> damn it. Do it! Nice, no, he just did it twice in a row. But then he did it, but then he got oh, hit he again. Twice. Yeah, he, I mean, he got hit twice in a row and then he did the kick, so I don't, I don't think it's coded. It would have been sick, though. Yeah. That's trashy. Yeah. Alright, let's kill the Parasite Cage. <laughs> Pinocchio's gonna, like, lose his voice doing this. Get me out of here! What the fuck is wrong with you, <laughs> Why are you just watching him hit your friends? <laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> no wonder he hates you now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why Riku is, tries to murder us in Neverland. There you back go. in the uh, way back <coughs> in the college days, he yeah. used to say that we would never be able to uh, to put a uh, like a live stream or a playthrough of us commentating over Cage One because we'd be so annoying with it. <laughs> it's like, so true. That's like, so true. All of the inside jokes and everything. It would be <laughs> we're possible, just, but I actually think we're doing okay. We're here. just we're just doing it anyway. Yeah, we're just yeah, we're letting the in jokes just slide through when they need to. Um, I know you can't hear the stream right now, but the music cutting out in the room if you don't jump into the hole immediately is very spooky. Yeah, that is really spooky. And you can't go back; it's blocked off with blue monster jello. It's very spooky. All right, and we're gonna push our friends into the hole, obviously. Ooh, there we go. Great adventures away! <laughs> Bye! Skitty, skitty, skitty. <laughs> See ya! Oh my god, I love Pinocchio, a true story. Have you watched Some all of, of it favorite. in full? No. 
Oh no! You don't need to. You, you just really need. The, don't need you to. just need the world to see. I feel like Goofy jumped out of the hole. Like he didn't just respawn; he came out of the hole. Oh god! I, like, that's turned... creepy. Yeah, right, let's pay attention here. Oh no, they just reappeared. Whatever. All right, we're wasting time. I gotta get to Atlantica because I promised Allison. <coughs> All right, oh, we got puppet puppet moment. Unfinished business. Got the whole world to see. <laughs> Give me back my Eddie Torwood did boy. Sorry, old man. This this Geppetto is uh, <coughs> is the better Geppetto. Yeah, this Geppetto is better than the true story, Pinocchio. I feel bad for uh, for Tom Kenny though. I feel like he's actually like doing a real thing. <coughs> is that the guy that voices him in True Story? Are you talking about? He voices Geppetto. Yes. I had no idea. Wow. You know what I really hate? Hmm. In that, have you watched the trailer for that or no? Yeah, I've seen it. I learned about it through my chat. Yeah. Okay. There's the scene where, like, right at the beginning of the trailer, where Geppetto says, like, he, uh, what should I name him? Mm -hmm. Maybe Leonardo. Oh, but then he'd turn into a turtle who only cares <laughs> about pizza. Like, when is this movie taking place? Do they know about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? That's a great point. So when did TMNT start as a comic in, like, the 80s? Yeah. Um, right? In America? Like, and this is, like, yeah. probably, what, Italy, 17th century, 16th, like, 18th century? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's bizarre. That's... So <laughs> awkward. Like, <laughs> it's really everything weird. Everything that's weird about that, like, that's the one thing that I keep coming back to. Of like, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. It's the weirdest thing about there. Pinocchio. True story is that TMNT line. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck? I guess yeah. Maybe I didn't see the full trailer because I do not remember that. So that was all news to me. Yeah. Um. All right. I gotta get Dumbo. Um, God, if you wanted to, you could get Dumbo, leave, revive him, and then use him on Parasite Cage 2. I've never done that before. It's kind of weird. I am going to attempt to mute myself temporarily. Okay. Let me know if you could hear me in five seconds from okay. now. Okay, gotcha. Well, I cannot hear you right now, Kiwi. I'm getting Water Gleam. Totally Kiwi-less right now. I'm gonna miss him, but uh, you know he died in service of the stream. Um, shouldn't it be he, he be in closer proximity to Leonardo, the historical man, as his reference for that name? Um, I mean, they're all. They're all I, I mean, I guess they are all Italian artists, so right. Um, Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and uh, Michelangelo are they all Italian artists, or am I getting my history wrong? Um, do you think the TMNT joke was in the original Russian script for the movie or was it invented by the dub? That's interesting. I don't know how big TMNT is in Russia, so... Oh my god, Kiwi! Can't believe he said that about me. Um, it does seem like a dub joke, yeah. If I were to just kind of place my bets on that. Um, alright, let's go fight PC2. Hello. <coughs> Hello, you're back. What's going on? The people missed you. What did I say about you? I have no idea. I think that was just a goof. Oh, oh my god. I was supposed to start dishing the tea while you were gone. Um, mm. You know what I heard about Kiwi is that he tips well. Could you believe it? The whole 20%. That bastard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 20%. Yeah, that's low for me, dog. <laughs> yeah? I'm like a 40% tipper. Oh my god, I had no idea. Yeah. Well, it's it's been a while since we... Your town, I, will... <laughs> <laughs> I will tip you generously. It's been a while since we uh, went somewhere and we had to tip something, so... Yeah. I had yeah. no idea you were tipping 40 this whole time. i will let you cover Just the tip the from tips. now on. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's... Uh, it, I mean, it depends. I mean, I... Uh, even for like, I mean, if it's like pretty bad service and the person's being a dick, yeah. I'll be like, okay, you're just getting twenty percent. Like yeah. you're getting the, you're getting the average for the, you know. Yeah, it's this, tough, right? Because like we like people who serve should be paid better than they are and should not have to rely on tips. But also, 
It's like, well, don't be a dick to me, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Right. Like, if you, if you mess up my order, I'm not going to dock your tip. If you're, like, rude to me, I might. Um, well, I mean, my, like, my base level with, I mean, waiters and waitresses is, is pleasant. Yeah. So... I mean, I don't even need I'm... them to be pleasant. I just want... I, I Honestly, the less small talk, the better, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. So... Yeah, I mean, all I all I ask in return is just like generally nice and like you know helpful if I have the rare question. Yeah. All right, it's me. Let's see if we can get through this parasite cage battle without the stream dropping again. It's a me, a kiwi. It's a me, kiwi. We're talking all these Italian media today. It's a me, a Chris Pratt. <laughs> 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 mm. I hate that. My reaction to the... Have you ever seen my reaction to Chris Pratt being, being announced? Because um, no. I was streaming that when I found out about it. I was mm. just beside myself. I was like, Chris Pratt! That was like Doug Walker. <laughs> Why does it look like Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about lot, Disney Simber. I, <laughs> I, uh, I grew up a lot after I stopped watching Nostalgia Critic. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. You didn't know any better. We were saying, like, we all watched him, and we were all young, and we didn't know any better. Yeah. So. Chris Pratt in my Mario Valentino bag! <laughs> That's right, the very same. But yeah. The best Nostalgia oh. Critic episode is the first one. It's the one where he's talking about, uh... Uh... Nostalgia Critic is too big to get in trouble for talking Oh, wait, about, yeah, right? way, way too big, yeah. Okay, I won't get in trouble good, for Nostalgia good. Critic, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the best episode of Nostalgia Critic is the one where, uh, um, uh, what's that, like, cartoon all-stars oh, from yeah. the 80s thing? Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's I don't, great. Was that That's his very great. first? I think it's, like... One of the first. It's like yeah, it's got to be like first. Five yeah, ones. first five. That makes sense. I thought it was the first one because he's like not that unhinged. He's like... <laughs> yeah, he hasn't lost his grip on reality yet. Right, which I think happens like immediately after. So yeah, mm, Michael Bay Transformers was the first one. Interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, that that sounds more correct to me. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was well, like anyway, it was a very early. Yeah, for sure, it was definitely like first five or ten. Um. But yeah, he was uh, just like a normal guy in those videos. He didn't ha have like the shrill voice. Um, yeah. But yeah. And you know what? Like, Doug seems like a good-natured guy. You know, like, I don't think he's a bad person. Um, he's definitely, like, had some problematic moments. Definitely with running his company. But, uh, you know, like, I think if I saw him on the street, I wouldn't, like, jeer at him and throw my drink, you know? Um, but, you know. Your mileage may vary there. I don't think he's like an actively malicious person like some other people on the internet are. Yeah. So. I yeah, definitely I rather need James Rolfe. A, I think he's just a, a pretty bad. He's a bad player. critic. <laughs> yeah, he is. But, yeah, you know. That's, that's my main concern with him. I mean, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if I know enough about his, uh, his business. Though I know that that. Their channel awesome went through a whole controversial oh, yeah, big time. stage. I mean, I at least know that. I'm I'm less familiar with his uh, exact role in all the, uh, the strangeness. And yeah, I don't Me too. even need to know. But yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Not I don't know enough basically to comment on it confidently. Right, here, which is so. a great it's, thing to say that more people should say. Uh, I learned that from Bo Burnham. Could anybody shut the fuck up? At any <laughs> yeah. Time? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Could anyone shut up at any time about anything? Yeah, when he's <laughs> laying on the floor. Like yeah. God, inside is so good. Inside is fantastic. Yeah. Why is it look like Vegas? Why is it look like Vegas? Are we still? Uh, what's the last thing that someone said in chat for you? I don't know if chat is just dead or if I have an issue. All right, never mind. I think uh, Chala's just oh, dead. No, here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got something. Because I know we dropped off big after that last, uh, that last lag spike, so I wasn't They're sure. They're like, all right, it's yeah, not worth it, yeah, it it's for enough. Her fucking regular pet. <laughs> yeah, no way. I just wasn't sure if uh, we were having issues or. Yeah, it's okay. Chat was unalive. We were just. I mean, we were getting very deep cut channel awesome stuff. I don't know how many people uh, in the chat really care about it. 
<laughs> so they were probably just lost at sea there. Sorry. Right. We accidentally just dove into the uh, <laughs> mentioned Doug Walker as the chat dies. Yeah. 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 Insta death. Yeah. Doug Walker, Walker rise. Dead. Twitch chat dies is the old witch's hex. I, I think. And here I thought that. Uh, um. Uh. Oh, sorry, my brain just exploded. No, you're good, it happens. Sorry, I got distracted <laughs> by an inside, uh, an oh. inside comment, so <laughs> yeah. I wanted to look at that, too. Oh, yeah. Um, Fuck. Fuck. I'm almost done with this guy, come on. Hey, did you ever use Grammarly before? Grammarly? I've definitely heard you know, of it. It's... It's like the, you know, it's the grammar website that, like, looks at your writing and then, like, gives you some comments. I mean, I mean it really is, you know, the writing center. Yeah, I I don't know if I have used it for myself, I don't think. I'm familiar with it, but I'm not sure. I, uh, I just, like, I, I mean, I'm not paying for it, but, like, I've recently come in contact with it, and it's... it's a tad spotty for me mm. like it does have some really interesting suggestions but like the stuff that's wrong feels very wrong mm. yeah just wanted to throw that out i mean there to see if you were i trust my judgment better than most other things or people you know <laughs> so generally i i also yeah uh, trust my judgment more like when we worked um, at the writing center i was not taking my paper to anybody at the writing center because i knew it oh hell no you know <laughs> Definitely not taking it to the actual English majors. How about this fucking scene, though? It's right? great. Oh it's just God. like a fucking scene in a different Disney World with plot yeah. happening after beating a Disney World. Like, Cage 2 could not even come fucking close to sniffing this. It's not even Cage in the same realm. Would never. No. It would never. Like, not only is there plot happening in a Disney World, but you're being rewarded with this after beating another Disney World. That's nuts. <laughs> why, why was Tron arrest, arrested uh, in the first place? Why was Tron arrested? Yeah, why was mm. he in the pit cell at first? Probably just for being like a deviant program. I don't know. For like scene, public intoxication. This smells a lot like salt water. Uh, go ahead, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Andrew Q asked what the scene smelled like. No, I was gonna say like I think probably like public intoxication or public urination for Tron. Mm, yeah, that you could just be had it. having a night out on the canyon in Tron City or whatever the fuck the it's city. called. The yeah. city, the city, the city. The city, yeah. Well, the city exists in <coughs> in space. Paranoid. paranoid. Right? It's, just, it's out in the distance. Yeah, you can actually see it from the canyon. I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It's true. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, I just quoted Aqua. You know what comes up next? Cake. Cake. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with the fruit cake this time. Fruit cake. There you go. Tron tried to remove the parental controls from Space Paranoids, is what uh, McMaster says. Honestly, we love that. Have you seen <laughs> Tron, Kiwi? Ooh. Because I haven't. A really long time ago, way before oh. I was ready to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was I way should, too complicated for I should me probably, I probably should have watched it prior to doing a lot of videos that I've done about <laughs> Cage 2, but... Um, I've, uh, I've seen Tron Legacy, though. Oh, okay. That I've seen relatively recently, thanks to uh, Disney+. Was that, Plus. Was that so. pre or oh, so post uh, Dream Drop? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Did that movie I do like, well? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so <laughs> It uh, It should have been an Oscar-nominated flick, though. It's got a great score. Yeah, yeah I've heard a lot of people love... Music. You're right. A lot of people love the soundtrack on that. Um, were they I, trying to set it up to be, like, a franchise? Do you know? Like, was it supposed to be, like, okay, Tron Legacy sequel is going to be after this, or...? I uh, did not get the impression uh, uh, gotcha. that it was supposed to be that way. Because, like, the movie ends very, like, conclusively, in my opinion. Mm, okay. uh, so, I... Uh, I don't know how it really would have uh, gone next. It feels like it ends very uh, tidily there. Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure. Um, but yeah, I guess I, I mean, I have no excuse to not watch it at this point. I do have Disney Plus as well, so I could watch both Tron movies. I, um, uh, yeah, I would like to watch Tron again. Tron Legacy, I think, uh, I think is also worth a watch. It, it yeah. was better than I thought it was going to be. I will. It does have like really good actors in it though. So yeah, well, it's got uh, Jeff Ridges, Olivia. What's Olivia? Olivia Who's it? Olivia Wilde. Yeah. Olivia Wilde. Um, 
yeah, Jeff Bridges is always good. Um, I will oh, vow to watch. <laughs> he's a good one, all right. Uh, I vow to watch Tron Legacy before I do the Dream Drop uh, World Rankings. I think it's only <laughs> fair. I guess I should also watch Mickey and the um, and the Musketeers as well. I actually just watched that. Oh, uh, did you really? Too on Disney Plus. Yeah. yeah. Any good? No. Yeah, I didn't think so. I mean, a lot of be people, uh, you know, it has its fans, but um, it's a directed DVD thing. Yeah. So. Um, All right, listen. I'm not gonna say that it's like oh so like cringy bad it's yeah. not you know the worst thing i've ever seen but i'm not gonna be like yeah i need to watch that again let's, you know let's run that back it's not in kanto okay right <laughs> it's not kanto yeah no. speaking of uh disney directed dvd sequels i wanted to actually run this by you kiwi um I need... Oh, perfect time well, to do it. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Um, well, I don't need... Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be something I even do by the end of this year. But, like, I recently did that um, watching all of the Disney sequels video. Um, yeah. I think it would be fun to do a follow-up um, with, like, all the movies that weren't in that group, but also kind of loosely apply to that, uh, th that set of parameters. You know what I mean? Like... I did all of the like direct to DVD, not theatrical releases, Disney movies. But like, if I could get like another list of like, like a similar amount of uh, movies that are like in that vein, like Mickey and the Musketeers or like uh, like Winnie the, the Pooh's Grand Carol. Adventure, yeah, stuff like that. So like, right. if you had an idea of like, I don't know how, how many movies that I review in that. I think like twenty three. Like if mm. you could, if you could like put together a reasonable list of like like an analogous sort of like uh 23 20 movies that could kind of fall under a similar category um because there's not like a clean wikipedia category for that you know what i mean whereas the ones right. that i did all have like that that same banner um but it's like yeah like jungle book 2 and return to neverland would be in this video but also so would like mickey and the musketeers so i need to like pick away or pick a pick like 20 uh movies that can all kind of be lumped into that video and like have a good catchy thing to call it i don't know what i'm asking you to do but i'm just like picking your brain on it i guess yeah i was gonna say yeah fucker how much you tipping 40 percent yeah 40 percent yeah numbness yeah. there's no way carly there's no way kiwi watched the uh, i'm not even gonna ask him <laughs> if you watch the chief cool video it's two hours it's two hours of this guy maybe clips maybe planes yeah planes should be in there um, well, I mean, Planes is Pixar, right? Like, do you throw Planes in there? Planes is not Pixar. Oh, no, you're right. I mean, Cars is, but Planes was just, like, some other stupid studio. Uh, so. Carly, I am a fake fan. That yeah. is true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have, I've actually never claimed to be a fan, so. No, Kiwi's never said he's a regular <laughs> Pat fan. I mean, it's the last thing he'll say. He won't even say that on his deathbed, so. Yeah, I would, uh, I'd die first, definitely. My function, other than to ruin at streams, yeah. is also to be, like, the person who doesn't call him king and stuff like right, that. Right, right. Just keep him honest out here. Yeah, if and I don't interact with do Kiwi... <laughs> work. Yeah, if I don't interact with Kiwi regularly, I'll start to get too high of an opinion of myself. <laughs> so. Um, I think with Atlantica, we'll, we'll just, like, get to the palace, and then we'll probably shut it down. Because um, I do be a bit fatigued. But, they don't look like one of them. you know, let's just do our swimming tutorial and hang around. Carly's begging you to keep me humble. <laughs> yes. Somebody yeah. needs to do this work. Somebody needs I mean. to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, some, some people call me king, but even they will dunk on me. Um, yeah, Daisy says, call, I call Pat King a lot, and it's my flaw as a person. <laughs> Broken heart emoji. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> King, sounds like a lot of responsibility and that line's not you no i agree i'm i am nothing if not a jester in the king's court um you know i don't know who the king is but it's probably not me i think it's triton right yeah i guess it's king triton yeah here we go <laughs> hey, makes sense that yeah. adds up yeah, yeah sure. it, make, it makes perfect sense um uh -huh. let's find flounder swim this way Patty is a joker of sorts. Sounds right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We live in a I'm society. I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> yeah. I'm something of a yeah, joker did myself. See, uh, did you see No Way Home? I did. I actually saw it uh, in theaters. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
It's really I'm good. I'm like not even a uh, uh, like a original Spider-Man crazy person or anything yeah. like that. But when I heard the uh, something of a scientist myself line, yeah. I, I mean they knew. My pants yeah, <laughs> they knew what they were doing. I mean that line, you know, took on a life of its own. So yes, I know why they did it. I mean it makes sense. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't a crazy Raimi guy either. I, I watched the I watched one and two from the Raimi trilogy to prepare. Um, I wish I had watched all of them to be honest. Like I knew when there were moments in uh, Far From Home, or is it, is it Far From Home or No Way Home? No Way Home. Far no Way Home. Home's in the middle. There. Oh, okay. Um, I knew like when things were happening that I was like, oh, if I had watched the uh, the Andrew Garfield ones and three, I'd be getting this. But. Uh, I still enjoyed it a lot. Like from I like getting. I'm definitely glad that I watched one and two beforehand, because uh, a lot of it would have gone right over my head. So to get like you know roughly half of the references was uh, was nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I yeah, I do wish I because I don't really have the motivation to go back and watch the Andrew Garfield ones now. Um, but I was told that like I did at least know like what happened with the Emma Stone character in the Garfield uh, movies. So like when he mm -hmm. saves Zendaya, I guess uh, Spider-Man spoilers by the way. Um, when he saved Zendaya, Zendaya, sorry, I always say it wrong. Um, it was like a very poignant moment um, <laughs> that was kind of lost on me, but yeah, yeah, Meh. yeah. I kind of knew the the backstory there, and then when it happened, it was like, oh yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Well, don't they reference it kind of in? The film a little earlier. When yeah, the two I. Other Peters kind yeah, of. Yeah, they're Tom talking. Holland. Garfield's like, oh, there was somebody that I I wanted to I tried to save and I couldn't or something like that. And I knew what he was talking about, but I just wished I had like the emotional sort of connection to it, because I basically got it through like a Wikipedia plot synopsis and that kind of uh, like vague line there. Yeah. But, you know, I was still it was still solid. You want a freezing cold take? Sure. Just to get it out on the record. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Andrew Garfield's like by far the best actor of the the trio there. Uh, yeah. I mean, I would agree. I guess that's why it's uh, freezing cold. Yeah. Even Patty yeah. can get on board with that one. Um, he's uh, he's fantastic. Andrew Garfield is, is great. I'm is a, I'm Tom Holland fan. the weakest of the actors in that in the mm. in the uh, Spider Man? Or are you putting uh, Toby? lower no tom holland is probably the weakest. i mean it's, it's probably moment. just out of like you know lack of experience compared to the other two yeah um, i would say so he could definitely get a, a media role i mean i think uh toby mcguire has had a few times where he's been able to, to show a little yeah. bit of, of something so i mean he garfield has done like him. stage work right like actual or am I mean, I... he's just been in a lot of different styles of stuff. I mean, right. he's done musicals and war movies, and, you know, he's mm -hmm. also a Spider-Man person. I mean, you know. Very multifaceted. It's impressive that he hasn't, like, become known as Spider-Man to, like, as wide of an audience as the other two. That's kind yeah. of telling, you know. That's true. That people know him from, like, multiple different <laughs> roles. He's not just reliant on that one big thing, you know. Yeah. I mean, it probably could also lump in the fact that, like, it's the least popular of the, uh, the Spider-Man well, yeah, I reboots. think that's a part of it, too. Yeah. Um, was that Tick, Tick, Boom? Isn't that the recent thing that he was in? Is that what oh, it's called? yeah, man. Yeah. Tick, Tick, Boom's great. Yeah. I hear a lot of talk about that on Twitter streets. Um, what would my am, mer person uh, be? How, like, 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 how Sora is a dolphin and Goofy is a sea turtle? Well, I think I would just be a mer man, right? Just by the logic, you know. right? I know, I don't like it either. Do you think I want my nipples out all the time? Oh, God. No, I don't. I'm saying I don't want that. <laughs> what was my thing the other day? I'd rather... I'd rather drink... Drink blood. blood. Yeah, than... Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That was your big big saying that day. See those... See those nips, see the nips, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's Keep fair. your nips to yourself, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I can still wear a shirt. So I would just be like that kid at the pool party who doesn't take his shirt off but underwater. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I guess. What would my vibe right oh, oh you, you mean what would my sea animal half be? Well, if it's not gonna be like a murtail, I don't know. Maybe like a blobfish. <laughs> or like I think a, you'd just be one of those polyps, right? You're oh, I'd be a poor, polyp. unfortunate soul. So yeah. I would be like stuck to the floor all the time. That's fair, because they're tied to the floor. You don't see a polyp not attached to the floor ever. 
so I would just be unable to move. I'd be immobile. Alright, fair enough. I'll be a polyp. So Andrew Garfield won a Tony for Angels in America. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Hmm. If he, uh, if he won Best Actor for Tick, Tick, Boom, I would not have been mad, and I would have personally chosen him, and he didn't even slap Chris Rock, either. That's true. <laughs> wow. Yeah. He was not involved in that entire altercation. Except he was definitely, he, like, uh, after the thing, he was, like, leaving a party, and they, uh, <laughs> they, like, took a video of him from further away. Yeah. He was talking to somebody, and it was like, did you see that shit? <laughs> and then he, like, big slapped them. Oh, man. Great. I had no idea. That's great. He's so charming. He I is. I love him. Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, I really enjoyed him in, in Spider-Man, so. Yeah. Fruit Tune he's says, imagine Spider-Man. hairless Triton. Let's take a look. Oh, God. No beard or hair. Again, hmm. give me blood. Oh, <laughs> I'd rather drink blood than look at hairless Trey. Yeah, that's really tough to imagine. Wait, doesn't he... In the prequel movie... No, he still has the beard in the prequel. Never mind. I wonder if there's any media that depicts him without his big beard. I hope not. If it is, then burn it. Burn it! Burn it! How'd it get burned? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> we're, uh, we're shutting it down. I'm saving the game. Um, it's been a crazy stream. We've had a lot of, uh, <laughs> interesting moments, so, a little bracket in there. I'll probably upload the bracket separately from the KH1 episode, so you can, uh, watch those separately. Um, again, happy birthday to Ali. Chris, if you're watching in the VOD, happy birthday to Chris. Kiwi, thank you for joining us here tonight for the bracket and KH1 nonsense. Nonsense, rather. <clears throat> Happy birthday, Allie and Chris. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> um, and what else? Um, I guess I'll just do my plugs. Here's my Twitter. Here's my Discord. Here is my Patreon. Just a reminder, when we get to 150 patrons, I'm doing a dedicated uh, Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 video. I don't know what, but oh. it'll be, you know, a full, at least, at least 20 plus minute video on some topic regarding days. Because there is no days content on the channel outside of, like, tangential references in other projects so um, we're not too far off it'll probably be a couple months still but just to uh, remind everybody that's what we're working towards right now the uh, Disney uh -huh. sequels was the hundred patron reward so to speak punishment for me a reward for everybody else um, and then uh, let's see what's going on here on Twitch I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang around or not um, but let me see but uh, whales playing God of War. Let's go raid whale and ask her what is this question? No, don't actually say what is this game? Can you say that chat? Uh, make sure to spell what w o t uh, So she knows that it's a reference to her <laughs> What is this game is what I want. All right, so let's raid whale um, No weekend stream for Easter. I will be busy and occupied on Saturday Unfortunately, so I'll probably just be back Tuesday with dream drop at 6 p.m. Uh, organization Battles Kahoot. Um, so look forward to that as well by Soul. That'll be our our forecast coming up here. Um, it's going to be six seconds here to raid. Kiwi, anything to say to the folks before we raid here? Uh, just want to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Kiwi, you're welcome. Uh, the chat loves you, right? <laughs> you know, it's all good. No, here. well... Thanks for having me, folks. Of it course. was uh, it was quite the pledge. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> always fun to talk a little Kingdom Hearts Hell and yeah. uh, you know bother Pat. Yeah, uh, that, those are some of my favorite things. Good stuff. So. Yeah, you could sing a whole uh, sound of music song about that, right? Oh man, <laughs> yeah, I, I do have those Julie Andrews pipes. It's true. So. It's true. <laughs> All right, folks. Shit, that's the way. That's the way, indeed. Can I get one more cake? <laughs> yeah, you can get one more. I'll say it. Yeah. Cake, and also in the chat. Cake. There you go. All right, folks. Just we're gonna you guys. we're gonna raid <laughs> whale. What is this game? And I will see you on Tuesday. Have a good Easter if you celebrate. Stay safe. Stay kind. Stay courteous. I will see you then. Bye bye. Ba -da -ba -ba.